Welcome to the March 25th meeting of the Portland City Council. Would you please call the roll? Fritz. Fish. Saltzman. Here. Novick. Here. Hales. Here. Uh, Commissioner Fish is away. I expect that Commissioner Fritz will be joining us. Um, so we have some time certain items and uh, up fairly shortly, but first we'll do communications and uh, then we'll talk about the rest of the agenda. So item 289, please. Request of Carl Wickman to address Council regarding Portland Bureau mm -hmm. of Transportation Maintenance of Cedar Crossings Bridge. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Commissioners. Could you just ready to switch to the PowerPoint? Ah, you got some slides. This is Oregon's equivalent to the National Historic Register. Since opening, Cedar Crossings has been a gathering place. I met a woman who'd often go to the bridge with her grandpa. For a science fair project, they created a popsicle bridge model. Now that woman is a highway engineer. <laughs> Tourists make it a must stop on covered bridge tours. Last week, ooh, that's not good. Last week, Portland police advised me to be careful as the bridge has become a battle turf for gangs. Drive-by shootings are common. Bullet holes are now claim markers for uh, gang turf areas. This is what the view looks like through a bullet hole. Just two years ago, graffiti was chalk and Sharpies. Today, you'll find a Nazi swastika and a target range. But the historic marker remains respected. Under the bridge, is a no-gang area, or a no-go area by the Portland police. And here's some of the tools that the graffiti artists are using. Almost the entire 1930s WPA stonework is now covered with graffiti many layers deep. A lack of regular street cleaning creates dangers. Where's the shoulder? Traffic goes into oncoming lanes to avoid it. Clogged basins create flooding. Even Portland's finest take evasive action. Potholes reveal the wood deck below. On the lower left is what the understructure of the bridge looks like. On top of that is the asphalt covering. Sidewalk flooding causes severe wood rot and mold. Interior walls are disappearing. You can see that in the middle left. Railing disintegrating. failing abutment patches and shattered guardrails. The footings in the water are now scour critical and failing. Since Mayor Clark's whoop whoop days and Mayor Hill's term as a commissioner, many plans and promises have been kept. Goal five states programs shall be provided that will protect historic areas for future generations. I have not been able to find a plan for this area. Located in Site 20, Cedar Crossings is a Goal 5 designated resource. A citywide scenic plan includes Cedar Crossings. Mr. Mayor, with Cedar Crossings proximity to three parks and metro open spaces, please consider making Cedar Crossings a park area. Our 2015 plans include former Sheriff Don Clark suggesting becoming a part of the problem-oriented policing conference. Today's presentation will be part of the video documentary, awaiting word from Commissioner Novak on how to replace the wood rail. Uh, Chet Orloff suggests an interpretive display at Leach Gardens, and our 18th annual cleanup is the first weekend of May. Thank you for your time. Ah, thanks for the update. There's obviously some pretty serious problems to be addressed, so thanks for calling them to our attention. You're welcome. Thank Mr. You. Wickman, uh, Laura Hansen, my constituent services coordinator, has been talking to PBOT about the issues you've raised, so uh -huh. you feel free to drop in and talk to her about it as you go. Is that the lady I talked with last year? Um, I don't know. I don't know. She was a lady who went to Hawaii to get married, right? Last uh, year. No, that was Erica. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Carl. Thank you very much. Okay, um, item number 290. Request of Hector Laura Cervantes to address council regarding illegal operation and charges of treason in the state. Okay, Cervantes. Not here. Okay, let's move on to the next one, please. 
two ninety one request of neil walker to address council regarding interactions with portland police good morning welcome morning, sir. good morning mayor hales commissioner novich and commissioner saltzman um, my name is neil walker and i appreciate you giving me a chance to share my experience 